guys, welcome back to my channel, Mississippi Girl Gardening and Couponing in NC. I am Tamika coming at you with not an oldie but a goodie video. So, as you know, we are in um, winter, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, it's December, so you know, if you have noticed, I haven't been bringing any gardening videos because here for my area, the gardening season is got over to spring. Everything is pretty much died off, so I didn't feel like, you know, there was nothing else to bring. So, hopefully, if it's God's will, next month in January is when I will start, like, doing my seeds and everything like that. Starting things back up for the spring. Getting ready for the spring. I'm planning on doing that, starting that off um, sometime in January. So, basically, everything that you'll be seeing on this channel now, leading up into that, will be the couponing and the grocery hauls. The stock up hauls and the... The grocery haul for those of you that's on my channel due to being gluten-free, dairy-free, um, soy-free, and all that. So, um, also, I'll be showing you guys what you can do with some of the stockpile stuff that you accumulate. So, today, we're going to be doing a basket. Gift basket. Some gift basket ideals. Um, I already have one basket already made. I will show you at the end of this video. But for now, we're going to put one together. So, let's get into it. Okay, you guys. So, turn. Alright, so, I went into the garage and I picked up a couple things that I want to do. So, I wanted to do a green basket. Um, so, I did not have some extra stuff over here in case I need something else. Um, let's see. So, this is just a little bin from the Dollar Tree. Nothing special. A dollar bin. And, um, I got some of my stuff from, that I had from when I used to make baskets before. So... See, right here so this right here like I have a little uh, paper shredder so this right here was just some um, card stock um, paper that I had and I shredded it that's all I did some card stock paper and I shredded it um, so I think for this one I'm gonna actually put some tissue paper in it so I have this green sheet right here um, I'm just gonna put that down because you know we're trying to save money, so anybody trying to put, you know, a whole lot of tissue paper in it. So I just put it in there like that, and then I'm gonna take this ain't just green green. It's close to it. Um, it's what I have on hand that's close to the the green. So I'm gonna take some of this. And it has some orange in it. I ain't worried about it because ain't nobody going to see it. Whoever gets this basket is going to be worried about what's like the content. like. But it has some orange paper in it. Um, yeah. So, that's what we got. That's what it looks like so far. Alright. Alright. So, I have this herbal essence. Uh, not herbal essence. Garnier Fruities, um shampoo and conditioner. So let's figure out the best way to do this. I'm trying to see if I want it to be the center. Probably so. Okay, so I need that to sit up a little higher. So what I'm going to do is... Tissue paper, and you don't have to use tissue paper. I'm just grabbing what I have right now. Um, what you can do is you can use grocery bags or whatever you want. Just you want to use something that's gonna make it um, sit up a little higher. Like I need more. I need it to come up a little bit more. Um, but I, I do see pe some people uh, like to take the um, 
the grocery bags and, and put them down at the bottom. All right. So we're going to see how that goes. So I have the granny FUTs. And I'm going to place everything in it first to see, you know. So now I'm going to, because obviously I got to put something right here. So then I have this. This is the closest thing I have. Um, this green color. This is more blue. Um, uh, let's see. I think I have a green body wash. Well, it's not green. It's white and green. I may put that there. I have to go get it. Um, but then I have this Skin Cement Shaving Gel. Can you hand me one of the swabs out there that say green, the swabs? And then some um, more tissue paper. It should be under the table. Um, but the swab that's white looking to say like mint or something. So yeah, so I'm having a hubby grab me some more um, the other swab. So we're going to put this here just for the time being, just to hold it in place. Um, and then I put like this skin cement. So, so far this is what it looks like. I'll change that out in a minute. And then, because you got the, okay, the body wash, you got the shaving gel. So I have this skin cement. Um, skin cement razor. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So, let's see. You have to position it the way that you want it. So we have the skin cement razor. And then I bought these right here for like a dollar. And they non-alcoholic because you don't want to say alcohol because you don't know who may end up with it. And you want to make sure everybody is age appropriate. So this is non-alcohol. It's just some little juice. You know, you get this for a gift for somebody. If they want to change out and, you know, if they of age and they go get them some wine, that's fine. And make have divided with the kids or something that's fine but for basket purposes since i don't know who uh, end up with this basket and i don't want to you know supply underage teen with anything or underage person with anything i just do the non-alcohol um and then we have this lotion because if you just say if this person get this this can be something that they can like a relaxation type deal um Oh, you found some green. Let's just wash it. Um, okay. Um, let's see. I may should just stick with this color, right? It's the closest, the blue. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah. So, um, so this one here, we're going to stick to this one because the other one that we got, is it like really throws it off. So this is like a blue. <sighs> It'll be fine. Um, but hubby did find that I did have some more like green color. So having that blue color in there, it works out because I'm going to leave it right on in there, y'all. I'm going to leave it right on in there. So um, this is what it looks like so far. So let's see if I can find something else because I definitely need a couple things to go off in here and to like raise it up. So I have some stuff right here. I'm going to see if I have anything. That will, uh, let's see, that will kind of help it out. We can do a smell good. So first, I need to raise everything up. I'm going to try to get it raised as possible. <laughs> so we have the items that we're pretty much going to put in there. So now what I like to do is I need to raise that up some more. So I'm going to use this green one and see if I can get that part raised up. But I'm going to start um, I'm going to start taping it now. That way it can stay in place. So you know we want these two. Where's my tape?
Okay, guys. So I had to find my tape. So I just use tape. Um, you can use double sided if you want. I used to use that, but now I just um use this. So I added some some of the green. So I'm gonna put place that right there. So I just want to get my base done first. So this is um this is gonna raise it up. I'm gonna tape the paper down that way it don't slide when I put that on there. I'm trying to move fast y'all because I don't want this to be too long. And we're almost at 10 minutes. But it's a basket. <laughs> so. And you don't have to do it like this. I mean, this is just ideals. So. Get it to the height that you want it. And. You know, tape it there. All right. So, I have them in there. Alright, so next I said I'm going to add the body wash. And the body wash is blue, so I guess this is going to turn into a green and blue <laughs> type deal. Because I don't have any like, green body wash, but it'll be fine. So I got the body wash right there. Um, that's how it looks so far. And I'm going to take and put the sentiment right here. I'll squeeze it in there because uh, Bonnie A don't want to get those. Alright, so I'm going to take. tape it right there that's the way it looks so far all right so let's see let's see if I can do it this way so what did it say I'm gonna put the razors right there which the razors is like green and blue so that works perfectly with the basket with the color scheme Next, I said I'm um, gonna throw in this lotion. Now, this is where I start putting stuff like seeing, you know, what is what. So, we got like a little smell good thing right there. Um, and I do have these right here. Should I do the green or the blue ones? Um, I think I'm gonna do this green one. Um, this is like a little loofah. I'm gonna set it up right there. Um, and let's see. Oh, so let me take this down. All right, I'm tape that down. And then I told you I was gonna put this there, so I'm gonna. Close this corner off. Let's see. I want to raise that up some. I'm going to take that up and raise this one up some too. I 
like it better right here. So I'm going to leave it just like that. Alright, so that's how it looks so far. Alright, so now uh, I'm going to so this I have a little bit of height right there. Gotta get something else to go in here because I wanted to be kind of full. Gotta get something that go like right there. Uh, let's see. Uh, trying to see what I could put there. Let's go ahead and put this loofah. Do I want to put the loofah right there and find something to go? No, I think the loofah will go perfect right down the side. Now I just got to find something to go in this area. So let me go out here and find something real quick, y'all. Okay, guys. So... A deodorant, <laughs> a suave deodorant is what I'm putting in here. And I'm just laying it right here. So, yeah. So, this is the kicker. This is how it looks. Now, yes, you can add more stuff if you want. I'm not going to be adding more stuff to it. Um, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to fill up these little gaps and stuff like that. So, um, this type of little stringy stuff right here you can get from the Dollar Tree all day. Unfortunately, the only color that I got is red. So, <laughs> um, I am going to add some red to it. Yeah, I'm going to add some red. We got a little red and stuff here. I'm going to add some red to it. Um, and go from there. So, I need to because I will be posting this basket. So, I need to go ahead and get a picture of it um, like it is. So, bear with me before we finish this. Alright, so. Alright, got that out of the way. So, I did put that there. So, let's go ahead and fill up these little areas. So they don't look bare. So you just take some of your stuff. Like this. And you're just gonna, you know, sprinkling. What I like to do is kind of be heavy in some of the areas, you know. I'm telling you, with, you know, people trying to get cheap gifts and this, 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 especially with everything that's going on and all this, you know, a gift is a gift. And, and I don't do um, the holidays. I don't celebrate the holidays. So when I make baskets, I make them geared around. They can be for anything. You know, what you do with it once you, you know, get it from me. But I don't make a basket that's just, you know, for one event. Unless you contact me and be like, oh, you need something for a baby shower or something like that. Then I'll do a personal um, basket or something like that. But this can be given for different things. Housewarming, whatever. Um, so... Yeah, this is where it looks. So now we're about to finish this bad boy up. Let me see. I need to put some tape right there. So. Alright. So that's how she looks. 
So also at the Dollar Tree, you can get these shrink wrapping baskets, bags. And you want to make sure you got the one, if you want it to be shrink wrap, you want to make sure you got the one that's got the little blow dryer on it. Um, these I bought last year sometime, but I bought some this year. And the bag looks slightly different, but long as it's for baskets and it has the blow dryer, you can shrink wrap it. So... And it comes with a bow, um, one of the draw tie bows. Um, sometimes I use it if I want to use a white one, but I had bought bows a couple years back from Amazon and I still had some, and I'll show you. So I will be using my own bow. I would say this is the fun part, but also the um, tedious. You want to get your basket into the bag. And I think when you're using these little things right here, it likes to catch, like the friction and stuff, it catches to the bag. But, I just deal with it. <laughs> um, you may want to sprinkle this in after you put your bag up. That is totally up to you and how you want to do it. So you want to make sure you got it pulled all the way up. Alright, so now you want to bring try to get much of the air out as possible. And I try to make the front of this as smooth as possible. Bring out much of the air. And it's not going to always do what you want it to do. Right? So. Now normally I will have these little wire things, but I don't have any, which I need to pick up some. I don't have any to like um, tie it off. So what I am going to use is just one of my little green things right here. And this is just the ribbon that you get. You can buy these on a pack at the Dollar Tree. Um... So I'm going to use that to tie this off because I can tie it off and still have it as decoration. So let me cut it. I just opened it so I need to cut that end off. So you just want to get you a long enough piece where you can tie it really good. I tie it and then I just bring it around and you want to tie it really good because once you start um, 
using the blow dryer, you want to make sure that it's going to shrink and stuff like it's supposed to. Now, some people I have saw take and cut a little hole on the side to let air escape. I don't do that because when I used to do it, it would just allow it to be easily ripped. Okay. So, have my blow dryer and you cut it on high and I cut it on hot. Um, because warm don't shrink it like it should, in my opinion. Well, even if you put it on low, you can put it on low, but make sure it's on high. I'm gonna do low. On high. So I wanted to stop it so I can show you guys. When you see me lifting it up, because you want to make sure you get you tighten up the bottom of it. So that's why I'm lifting it. Um, and then also I'm gonna go back over a couple things, but I want to show you guys. Like right here, you have like pointy areas. You want to make sure you don't overdo this because it will come through and tear the the basket wrapping. So those are just a couple little tips. So I'm going to go back over a little bit more right up in here to make sure I draw that tight. Because it do get harder the more you um, draw it close.
that's the way it looks so far. All right, so now we're gonna kind of make it look a little bit better up here. So one thing I like about this type of um, stuff is because you can always make it look cute. <laughs> You can take any type of scissors or whatever and do that. Um, I've used an ink pen, whatever you may have on hand. Um, so I'm just going to put, I want to add some silver to it. So I think I'm going to add a silver piece to this. Just to give it some extra. So you can add what you want. Um, so these are like my go-to and I'm just tying it on here tight not too tight to break it um, and I like for it to be full like when I put this on it I like for it to be full I'm going to put another silver on it Then I'll add some more green. Probably gonna add a little red because I did put the red thing in the um, basket. All right. That's my red one. Two strings of the red. All right. <laughs> so this bass is gonna be well tight. <laughs> All right. So this way it looks so far. So now I'm just gonna go through it. And start <laughs> and all I'm doing, y'all. Just in case somebody wants to know, I'm going on this part, taking my scissors or whatever you have, holding it, it's almost like you're skinning a potato or something. And you pull it and they will bounce up like that. You know, and you can pull them down however you want. Um, and like, I like for some of them to be kind of like that raggy like. Like, not for all of them to be curled all up. You know, you want some to be loose. You want it to fall right, all right? You know, so. You don't have to have all of them tight. Some of them you may want to just leave long. It's whatever you like, because they're guaranteed that somebody out there is gonna like some similar to what you like. So, this is what it looks like. Now, we're gonna put the bow. So, these are some of the bows I had. Let me see. Ouch. Let me 
see. I have to do. <laughs> this is a big bowl. Let me see. This is trying to say this one of my pool. Yep, this is one of my pool. So this is just like for the the bowl white bowl that came with the basket. These are called the pool tie bowls, and they're easy. They have like a little string in there, and you just pull it, and it makes the bowl. So I pull it, I make the bowl. And then tie it off to lock the bowl in. So I just go and just right where it made it, I just tie it off. Just like that. I do a double tie just to make sure it's locked. So now I have my bowl. But like I said, you can do this because the little thing, the little basket thing comes with the white bowl. And you do it the same way. You put, it's a pull tie bowl. So like I say, I bought these from Amazon a couple years back because I used to do baskets. And so. Now you're just going to fix it the way you want it, you know. The way you want it, how you want it to look. Sometimes you have to fix these bows. Like I gotta fix this one. Um, but you fix it to the the way that you want it, how you want it to look. good thing about that is these um, ribbons right here you can cut them and they will what I did to make them curly they will um, they will get curly like that like I'm just gonna curl it a little bit and that's for the, the ribbon that come with it you can do that and it'll give it a little curl I want to lightly do it so it's ain't like straight straight so yeah so now you can actually leave. Let's see if I can bring y'all up some now. You can actually leave all this on there like that. I I'm going to trim the top of it a little bit. Because I don't want all that excess. And this is the basket. This is how it looks. Hold up. Okay. Yeah, so this is how it looks. And it's a basket for, you know, whatever you want it to be. Um, yeah. So, I hope this was helpful. Um, you know, give you some ideas of what to do with some of that stock pasta. Let me tighten it up a little bit, y'all. I feel like it's a little loose. Let me tighten it up a little bit and yeah so that is what I do to some of my stuff from you know my stockpile or whatever and that bas this basket right here I probably sell for about 25 25 yeah probably 25 
um, more likely. And you don't use too many of your items, your products, and things like that um, at all. Um, yeah, so I hope this was helpful for somebody. I'm sorry that it was so long, but hey, we're making a basket. So, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, um, happy basket making. Bye, y'all.